हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू किताबी कैबिन्स मेरा नाम वाणी है एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टॉक टू यू अबाउट वन ऑफ माई मोस्ट फेवरेट बुक्स एंड आई ऑलरेडी एड्रेस दिस लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स ऑन द स्ट्रीम्स ऑन चलचित्र टॉक्स ऑन किताबी कैबिन्स हाउ मच आई लव दिस बुक बट टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लोर अ डिफरेंट थीम वेयर आई टेल यू वाई आई थिंक एवरी वन शुड रीड दिस बुक एंड वाई आई थिंक दिस बुक इज ब्यूटिफुल बियॉन्ड कंपेरिजन I am talking about On Earth We Are Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Walk and we picked it up in I think November of 2021 and we had a ball when we were reading it all the book club members and everyone who participated in ABM that month but what I want to talk to you about is something personal I'm obsessed with watching Ocean Walk's interviews A he has such a nice soothing calm voice B the tone with which he expresses something just helps you relax and calm down I was a boy which meant I was a murderer of my childhood In one of his interviews Ocean Wong was asked what would his advice be to young poets and he he said something on the lines that read try and read everything you can ask what is it doing and why is it doing this because a work of literature is not something that is to be understood It is not a code that should be solved in order to understand what the takeaway of that said work is. It is like weather. You have to sit in it and you have to soak it in and then you have to decide if this is a storm you want to be a part of. And that is something that stayed with me and since then I read on earth where briefly gorgeous a lot more number of times. For those of you who do not know what the book is, in short It is a letter from a son called Little Dog to his mother who cannot read. And if I were to give in to some injustice, it is also a letter from a Vietnamese immigrant, queer boy, to his mother. And like I said, it is grave injustice to the whole plot of the book because the book is much more than that. And I think that is something about every good book that you will read the plot that you will explain to people will not do justice to the book because i'm obsessed with watching ocean wong's videos i saw in his interviews where he explained the process he followed to give the structure to on earth where briefly gorgeous and he followed the structure called kisho ten ketsu which is something that we see in east asian literature until now i think most of us have seen five act structure and three act act structure there is a beginning there is a conflict and there is an end but in kisho tenketsu there is a four act structure ki which means introduction sho which means development then which means the twist that will come about and ketsu which is the conclusion and now you'll understand why kisho tenketsu makes on earth we are briefly gorgeous into what we see when we read it and i'm not giving the entire credit to the structure but it aids ocean wong when he takes your attention and never returns it until you're done with the book and then you're troubled you want to give ocean wong your attention back because the book is just not enough you want to read more and more of it and he does so brilliantly when he introduces metaphors that are based in facts and he talks to you about emotions by using science before i go i also want to talk about this article that i came across a few months ago and there was somebody who had explained how despite the letter despite little dog trying hard to reach out to the mother she remains distant because she doesn't understand english which is very ironical because english is a language of the masses it is available out there in abundance it's very accessible but despite its accessibility little dog's mother really would not be able to understand this letter that is being communicated to her in english i think that's one way how on earth we briefly gorgeous is a very intimate display of how english comes in the lives of immigrants so this was my recommendation to you if you've already read the book please let me know what you think about it in the comments and if you haven't please read it and let us know what you think about the book in the comments i think it's one of the most brilliant books of the decade if not the millennium but i love the book a lot and i hope you find the same comfort in the book if not more Thank you for watching so far and I will be back with another recommendation for you in the next episode and until then happy reading tata -ta.